Hey, good morning. Um, so today, as you guys know, we're gonna work on some handstand drills and some strength building. Um, but we are gonna start with some core work. So just come and find a comfortable um, place on your back and close your eyes and just start to breathe a little bit here. Inhaling and exhaling through your nose. guys. Long, slow, deep breaths. I want you to, as you're lying here um, and settling in, I want you guys to think, uh, start to visualize in your head what your perfect handstand or your forearm stand would look like, right? So I want you to see it in your mind and kind of visualize that nice, perfect alignment, right? Shoulders over wrists, hips over shoulders, strong, integrated legs and core, right? Visualize your hands pushing down into the ground, right? As you're creating energy and lifting up through the toes, creating a nice, long, straight, strong handstand, okay? So the more you can visualize it, right, the easier then you can start to create it, right? Um, it's a process, right? And what I want you to think about before we start is that the tighter that everything is as you're going into your handstand, meaning the stronger and straighter your arms are, the more your core is engaged, the more your legs are engaged, the more your glutes are engaged, right? The tighter everything is, the lighter you'll feel as you get upside down. So I think that's really important. So remember that the tighter everything is, the lighter you'll feel, okay? So just lying on your backs, hug your knees into your chest, right? And also, you know, remember that a handstand practice is a playful practice, so we should be able to laugh at ourselves a little bit here because it won't be perfect. We will fall out of our handstands. That's just part of the process and part of the journey. Good. Drop your knees over to the right. Take your gaze over to the left. Good. Inhale. Knees up through center. Exhale. Knees to the left. So again, if you have any questions as we move along, just unmute yourselves and just jump in. I, that's totally fine. Good. Let's come back through center. I just want us to start by um, feeling the engagement in the low belly. So I want you to exhale and lift your head and your shoulders away from the mat and extend your arms forward, okay? So there's a little bit of space between the chin and the chest, like a, a tennis ball size space. When you press your left heel firmly down into the floor and lift your right heel away from the floor and hold for a 10. Low back is down, nine, eight, seven. Keep pressing the left heel, six, five, four, three, Two, one, stay lifted, just switch. Press right heel, lift, left, hold, 10, nine, easy breathing, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, 
five, are you shaking? Four, I am. Three, two, one, switch. Don't come down, keep pressing, keep working. Low back down, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last time, switch, right heel down. Press that right heel down, lift that left leg for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and come on down. Ooh, breathe here. If you need to bring your knees into your chest for a second, take an inhale, take an exhale. Good, let's roll up and sit on our butts. Good, and just come into Navasana, but let's keep our knees bent here. Chest stays lifted, so we're not uh, slumping our shoulders forward, we're lifted. Good, breathe. Inhale, exhale, halfway. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Keep going up and down at your own pace. Try to get like 10 in. We're inhaling as we come up, exhale, inhale. Let's try for three more. Three, two, one. Hold if you want to straighten your legs, straighten for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, smile, three, two, and one. Come lie down, hug your knees in. I've been told that yoga teachers are the slowest counters in the world. Good, let's roll on up. We're going to... um. We're gonna separate the legs, okay? Let's go toward your right leg to start. Bring your fingertips out on either side. And we're just gonna do little pumps of the chest toward your leg. Nice and easy. We're just starting to warm up through those hip flexors here. Let's go 10 more, 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Come up, keep your arms straight, and keep your um, fingertips engaged. This is the not fun part. We're going to lift that leg and pump it for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, Seven, six, five, four, belly, belly, done. Ooh, I know, you're all on mute so I can't hear you yelling at me. Let's switch to the other side, whatever side you didn't use, and just little pumps down, 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 down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, I know, just accept it. Here we go, lift the leg for 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ah! And then pound out your quads because it's also a quad strengthener. But you need your quads and your handstands, so. Good, okay. We're going to the center. I know, this is like, we're only gonna do 10 of these. So just get in there a little bit. Up and down, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, okay. Extend the arms out strong. Now you're gonna have to sit back here. So hollow everything out, hollow your chest out, hollow your belly out. I like pointing my toes. I think it makes it a teeny bit easier. And we're gonna lift for 10, nine, eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Crisscross and fold. Whew. Good. Come up, switch the legs and fold again. Good. Do you guys have blocks or books handy? So if you don't, it's okay. You don't need them. It just might be a little bit harder. Um, if you have blocks or stacks of books, just place them right by your hips. Okay. If you don't have blocks or books, you're still going to press down and lift your butt up, but you just, it's a little easier if you have blocks because you get a little more lift. Okay. So hands on the blocks. As we exhale and lift, I want you to pull your low belly in and think about shifting your hips back. I'll show you once if you want. Here we go. I'm going to inhale. I'm going to exhale. I'm going to lift up and I'm going to shift my hips back. Then if I'm able, I'm going to lift my heels up. Maybe you lift one heel, maybe you lift the other, maybe you don't lift heels today. It's okay. All right. So here we go. Sit up tall, take a breath in. Exhale, push down, shift back. This is the most important part. Super straight arms, low belly is engaged. Pull, push, 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 and come down and breathe. Shake your wrists. Good, two more of those, inhale. Exhale, push, lift, shift the hips. Push, 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 maybe lift the heels. And down, shake it out. Good, last time, I swear, last time. Inhale, exhale, push, lift and shift. Belly in, belly in, belly in, hold, and down, good. Get rid of your blocks. Find your tabletop. And just roll out through cat and cow. Roll it out. Two more. One more. Good. Come back to a neutral spine. We're going to lift and lower the heels of the hands up. So if you want to watch up here for a second, I'm lifting up and down, up and down, up and down, just to warm up your wrists. You can go as slow as you want here. Good. For 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Sit back on your shins and just uh, roll your wrists out. One um, little thing for the wrists, which is nice, if you um, bring the backs of your hands together and you kind of roll them this way. That feels kind of nice. And then you can go the other way. Good. So we're gonna do one more plank drill and then we're gonna um, start moving, take some sun salutations, and then we're gonna move and do some work at the wall. So I do want you to be near the wall for this plank drill. So have a look. I'm going to come over to my wall. Okay. I'm going to come into a tabletop position. I want to be one arm's length away from the wall. Okay. So see how my arm on the wall is nice and straight. That's how I know I'm at the right distance. Okay. So everybody measure and find your tabletop. Mm-hmm. Good. So once you're an arm's distance away, 
come back into your tabletop. Okay. We're going to come up into our plank pose. Good. So find your plank. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to take the right arm and we're going to place it on the wall. Yeah. Good. Now square your hips. Take a breath in. I want you to hollow out your chest, hollow out your belly, and then lift your right leg up. So right hand, right leg, and hold. Ten, nine, hollow belly, eight, strong legs. Remember, we're engaging everything. Four, three, two, one. Foot down, hand down. Bring your knees down for a second. And again, roll your wrists out. Whew. That's firing up your plank. Good. All right. So what we do on one side, we have to do on the other side. So come back into that tabletop. Remeasure your arms distance from the wall. Hmm. Good. Hands come down. Tuck your toes. Find your plank. Nice upper back is high core plank. Legs are engaged. Put your left hand on the wall. Belly's in, we're pushing the floor away. We're pushing into the wall. We lift the left leg up, hold. 10, nine, push more. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Let's get out of there. Ooh, I'm gonna get some angry texts later. I know. Shake your wrists out. So the reason why we did that exercise, right, is because when we're upside down in our handstand, we wanna create that nice, long, hollowed out shape, right? We can, get up into a handstand and have that banana back uh, and sink into the shoulders. But, you know, if we want to really do a proper handstand, we need to engage all those muscles. So that exercise was to um, get us to feel those ribs back and that pushing forward, that protracting of the shoulders. Okay, so let's come into our down dog, paddle your feet out. Right here in your down dog, I want you to really focus on pulling your front ribs towards your back ribs and rolling your triceps down toward the mat. That's gonna create that protraction through your shoulders. So get steady through your down dog and listen up. I want you to come up on tented fingers on your right hand and tippy toe your fingers forward. Your shoulder, your right shoulder should be right next to your ear. Pull your low belly in, pull your ribs in, and then place your right hand down. Do the same thing with the left side. Tented fingers, extend. Shoulder comes by the ear, right? Because when we're in our handstands, right, our shoulders are elevated. Switch sides, right fingertips, reach. You're staying in your down dog. Good, switch, left, reach. One more each side, right. Tented fingers, reach, reach, reach. Elevate, elevate, protract, protract, and switch. And down, good, let's walk to the top of our mats. Feet are hip distance, shake everything out, shake your head out. Shake your neck out. Then we'll slowly, little bend in the knees, roll all the way up. When we get to the top, circle the arms. And then hands come into our heart. Let's start by taking a little shoulder stretch. So separate your legs a little wider than hip distance. Interlace your fingers. Squeeze your shoulder blades together here. As you exhale, taking a little bend in the knees and fold. 
Shake your head out. Keep squeezing your shoulder blades. One more breath. Good. Let's release the hands down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands into your heart. Good. We're going to start with three sun A's, you guys. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Step or hop back, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Breathe. Are your quads working here? Is your belly working? Are your shoulders strong, arms straight? One more inhale. We'll look forward and quietly hop forward. Uttanasana. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale into your heart. Inhale, sweep the arms. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lengthen. Plant your palms, step or hop back. Inhale, open your heart. Exhale, down dog. Again, just breathe here. Connect with your breath. Exhale, any thoughts that, oh, I can't do this, so oh, I'm not strong enough. Just get rid of all of that. Take a breath in. We'll look forward, move ourselves to the top of the mat, Uttanasana. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale all the way up. Exhale, hands into the heart. Good. One more, guys. Inhale. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale, find your way to down dog, preferably through a chaturanga. And breathe. Good, one more. Look forward, move your way forward. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands into your heart. Go one sun B, let's sit low. Utkatasana. Exhale, swing the arms behind you, interlace and fold. Again, another shoulder stretch. Knees are really bent here, guys. Chest is sitting right on top of your thighs. Go release the hands. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, we'll hop back. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good. Right foot forward, left heel turns, warrior one. Inhale. Exhale, the hands down. Find your chaturanga. Inhale. Exhale, down dog. Good, left foot forward, right heel turns. Sweep the arms up, warrior one. Exhale, hands to the mat. Find down dog. And breathe. Hmm. One more inhale. Exhale, we'll hop forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold. Let's sit Utkatasana, arms lift, and then stand, hands at heart center. Good, shake everything out, shake your wrists out. Okay, so 
We're gonna come to the wall, so bring your mats to the wall if they're not. And we're just gonna start uh, with an L uh, at the wall. And the reason, it's not that I don't know you guys can't all do this, but I do feel like since we've been home and not in the studio together, we really haven't been handstanding a lot. I mean, I know in my classes, we certainly haven't been. So I wanna just kinda take it back a little bit first um, and just think about all our alignment and where everything should be like pulling and pushing and whatnot. So come back to your wall, find your hands and knees. If you're doing this on your forearms, all the same things apply. So it doesn't matter if you're doing forearms or hands, okay? I do want you to make sure that your shoulders are right over your wrists. The second thing I want you to really look at is that your fingers are spread really wide and that um, you're like gripping the mat with your fingertips. Like it looks like, like you're clawing at the mat with your fingertips. That's how I want your hands to be the whole time, okay? So exhale, lift your hips and come into your short little um, down dog and then climb your feet up the wall so that you're in an L shape. Your feet are at hip height, not higher, okay? Right here, I want you to pull your belly in and pull your ribs up. Let your head just drop. We're holding for 10 nine, breathe and push, eight, seven, roll your triceps, six, five, don't give up, four, push, push, three, two, and come down. And again, just roll your wrists. I like that I can see all you guys here. Good, roll your wrists, you can do that little uh, back of the hand wrist thing here. Okay, so what, what I'm gonna talk about here and then we're gonna work it at the wall um, is something that I've been working on. I'm gonna stand here for a second. So I want you to think about drawing the femur bone up. So actually, why don't we all stand up for a minute? We'll do it standing and then you'll get a feeling for it when we're at the wall. I want you to put all the weight into your left foot, okay? And then like, like your right leg is being sucked up. I want you to pull it up, engage the quad and hover the foot one inch off of the mat, right? So you should feel a huge engagement through the quad here and through the right glute, okay? Now set the right foot down push into the right foot, pull your low belly in and suck that left femur bone up and hover. Really engage your quad here. Engage, 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 and down. Good, let's do it on the right side again. Suck it up and hover. You should really feel your leg working. And down and then switch, weight in the right foot, suck that left femur bone up. Okay, and down. So we're gonna come to the wall, we're gonna get into our L, okay? And, and we're gonna do that same exercise, but with the feet on the wall, okay? So when you're in your L, you're gonna suck your right femur bone up and hover your right foot away from the wall, and then you're gonna switch, okay? So I'm gonna come over here, if you kinda need a side visual. Get into your L at the wall, or if you wanna watch me first, right? We're in our L, we're pushing, we're pulling the belly in and we're sucking the femur up, hover the right foot and hold. And then put the right foot on the wall and pull your belly in and suck that left foot up and hover it away from the wall. Good. And switch. Push, 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 hover. One more time. Push, and switch and then come on down yeah nice good come on down guys excellent 
Does anyone have any questions about that? If you do, just unmute and you can ask. So, no? No questions? Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna work with that sort of suction in and up as we work on kicking up, we're gonna face the wall. And we're gonna work on using that engagement of the leg and the quad along with the pushing and the protraction and making everything hollow. All this part, all this part is like hollowed out, right? So I'm gonna push and I'm gonna use that leg. I'll show you what that looks like, okay? So I'm gonna come over here. I wanna be about, I don't know, maybe like a foot to 18 inches from the wall, right? I'm actually gonna show you this way. I'm gonna take my one leg up in the air. I don't care which one you lift first. As I start to kick, it's the standing leg is the one you're sucking up, okay? So it'll be like, right, I'm pushing and I'm really sucking in and we're staying in an L shape here, guys. So the leg that's parallel to the floor is the one that's pulling up, okay? So let me have a look. The, the leg that's on the floor, yeah, let me see that, Dara. Yeah. Let me see that. Oh, hi, Karen. I just saw Karen. Let's see it, good. Come on down. Yeah, yeah, Sean, yes, excellent. Excellent, come on down, give yourself a break. Whew. Yeah, Karen, yeah, that was it. That was it, excellent. All right, just breathe. Shake your wrists out. So it's that sucking up motion here that's gonna help to get the hips, uh, to get the hips up and over, as opposed to just flinging your leg and coming, like a lot of times what happens is we do this, right? Do you see what, see like I'm all in my low back here, right? What this does is it helps you, right, to have the leg and the hips move at the same time, as opposed to flinging the leg up. You're um, using a little more engaged energy, is what I'll call it, okay? so. Come back to your wall. Whatever leg you were using before, I want you to use the other leg, okay? So again, remember you're sucking that femur bone up. I'm gonna just watch you guys for a second. Yeah, so Amy, I think you need to get out of your low back a little bit more. Yeah, Darren. Oh, yeah, Elisa, very nice. Beautiful. Yes, yeah, Karen, nice. Yeah, Sean, nice. All right, take a break, breathe, get some water. You can take a child's pose for a moment if you need a little rest. What? Yes. Yes. So this, um, Good, I'm glad that was helpful. So this um, action of the leg pulling up has been like a game changer in terms of control for me, getting into my handstands, okay? So um, come and just sit for a second on your shins if that's comfortable, otherwise a crisscross is fine, okay? Um, just bring your hands out in front of you and, and um, flex your wrists, okay? 
So the other piece of it, and then when we put it all together, you, it makes you feel really stable. Okay, so here I want you to push like you're trying to push me away because you might be right about now. Okay, so you're pushing me away and we're rolling our triceps down, right? So my arms were here and I'm pushing and I'm rotating without moving my hands, okay? You should feel like a firming up underneath the armpit here, okay? So super straight elbows, super engaged through the triceps and protracted through the shoulders. Okay, how stable and straight your arms are right this second is how your arms should be when you're hand standing, okay? So then all this is engaged, right? Then what we just learned, right? The quads are engaged. So again, right, the tighter you are going into your handstand, the lighter you'll be once you get upside down, okay? Um, so let's try that again, facing the wall. Do like five swings with each leg. Again, I'm, I'm hesitant to say swings because really we want to get the hips over the shoulders without flinging the leg, right? We're sucking that femur bone up and our arms are super straight and strong. And you don't have to do it facing the wall if you don't want. In fact, maybe you try it away from the wall so that you really get that feeling of engagement through the whole body. Yes, Sean, that was excellent. Yeah, Dara. I can't see Kathleen, so that's why I haven't said anything. <laughs> Let's see, Elisa. Yes, yes, the hips are moving as they should be. Correct. You're not in your low back. That's great. Okay. Let's breathe. All right. How are we doing, guys? Okay. Thumbs up? Yeah? Okay. Good. Karen, you good? <laughs> Okay, so I'm just gonna move my mat. Let's just flow a little, just to get up our hands for a second, and then we'll come back to the wall. So just find your down dog. Good. Breathe in your down dog. Good, let's take the right leg up in the air, three-legged dog. Bend your knee, allow your hip to open here. Nice, easy breath. One more inhale. Good, we'll straighten the leg, square the hips. Let's step through to warrior two. I'm gonna switch here so you can see. Good. Yep. So try to get the shoulders away from the ears here, right? Steady breath, we'll just come back to the breath. Inhale, exhale. Let's flip the palms up, inhale, straighten the right knee. Exhale, back into warrior two. Let's do that two more times, inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale, good, keep the bend, reverse your warrior, inhale. Exhale, finding your side angle pose. Right hand down, left arm reaches up. Stay here and breathe for five, four, three, two, Good, left hand comes to the mat, finding our plank pose, breathe in. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Good, left leg lifts. Bend your knee, open your hip. Stay here and breathe.
Good. Straighten the legs, stepping through, warrior two. Come up, find your feet, find your breath. Shoulders down, bellies in. A little steadiness here, because our handstands can feel unsteady. Palms flip up, inhale, straighten left knee. Exhale, warrior two. Two more, inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Good. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Left hand down, right arm lifts. Breathe here. Three more. Good. Right hand down. Plank pose. Breathe in. Exhale, lower. Inhale. Exhale. Down dog. Good. Full breath in. Full breath out. Good. Let's walk the feet to the top of the mat. Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway. Exhale, fold. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hands into your heart. Okay, so let's, um, we're going to take, we're going to do some more handstand drills. Now that we've sort of come back and we are like, okay, we've got our quads engaged, we've got our belly engaged, our ribs are back, our arms are straight. So, you can do this facing the wall or not facing the wall, really doesn't matter. We're going to um, just start to kick up. We want to try to have our feet come together. Maybe we find a pause for a second before we come back down. We're going to stay on one leg. So we're going to start with our right foot down and our left leg up. And again, we're just trying to find a little bit. See if we can bring our feet whoa, together and come down. Five times each leg. You can remember to suck that femur bone up. Once you get used to that feeling of sucking the femur bone up, I think you'll find a lot more uh, stability and you'll be able to find that pause at the top. Yes, yes. Yep. Very good. So once you've done one leg, do the other leg. Don't forget, we're sucking the femur bone in. I'm telling you, this has been a game changer for me. So I think once you get used to that feeling of pulling the leg up, I think you'll find um, more stability. And when you're done with five on each side, just rest, take a break, come back to your breath. All right, let's come down and shake out the wrists. How are we doing? Any questions? No? Yes? No? Okay, good. Okay, so um, the second little drill we're gonna do here, again, you can do this away from the wall, this is really a handstand thing, not a forearm stand thing. Kathleen, just so you know. Um, so we're gonna work on our tuck jumps. We're gonna work on jumping, bringing the legs into the chest. If you find that you've got like a little bit of balance there, we're gonna take the legs up, bring them in and down. It will look something like this. 
Let's see if this works for me. Of course, it probably won't now, right? Okay, so my arms are engaged. I'm rolling my triceps. I'm clawing at the mat with my fingers. My gaze is in between my thumbs. I'm gonna jump up and come back down. I might, right? If you find that low balance, take the legs up, bring them back down and come down. We're trying to land quietly, okay? Super straight arms, guys. Roll those triceps, pull your chest, uh, your ribs back. Hopping up and down. Let's see. If you want, come, come get your hips all the way to the wall. Pause. Take the legs up, it, even if you're leaning against the wall. Yep. Let's see, guys. Yeah, so just um, a little more. We want to think about our hips have to get over the shoulders. Yeah, the hips. That, yeah, if you have a bolster, absolutely you can put a bolster on the wall. Nice, Kathleen. Yeah, nice. Yes, excellent. Yes, Elisa, nice. Yes, so keep your thighs down into your chest. Yeah, and just use your belly, and then down. Yeah, nice, good. Let's do two more. Good, and then come on down. Shake it out. Nice, all right. We're just gonna do one more and then we're just gonna uh, flow and finish up. So um, this is gonna be sort of your last little handstandy piece of the class here, okay? So if you feel like you needed to work a little bit more on your tuck jumps, then just do that. If you um, wanna work more with that leg moving in and up, toward the wall or away from the wall, do that. I just wanna throw out one other thing. If anyone wants to try it, you certainly don't have to. Um, we're gonna jump into a tuck and then go out to a straddle and then come back in. I don't wanna kick anything. All right, let's see. Let's see if this goes well, okay? So you're gonna come you're gonna jump into a tuck and then a straddle. Let's try that again. Nope. There, <laughs> third time's a charm. Again, it's just for fun, just to give you another option. You have to watch, you know, make sure your legs can take the straddle depending on where, where in the room you are, right? Is anyone trying this? No. Yeah, Sean, yes, Sean. Good, so just play around. You have like, I don't know, 30 more seconds to work on any of the things that we talked about. But I really feel like the engagement of the quad and the pulling up of the leg is gonna be a game changer for all of your practices. So just take a few more seconds. Good, 10 more seconds. Yes, Amy, yes. Good. All right, guys, come on down. Take a child's pose. Handstand drills are done. Bravo, you guys did great. <laughs> Good, just 
find your breath in your child's pose. All right, guys, come on up. Let's come into an easy down dog. We're just gonna stretch out a little bit. Take your right leg up in the air. We'll step it through into a lizard pose. So drop the left knee down, widen your right foot out, and fold. If you have your blocks, you can put your blocks under your forearms. Just let your head go and breathe. Good, let's climb up and slide it back into a runner stretch and uh, reach the fingers forward. Breathe into your hamstrings here. If we were doing everything and engaging everything, this stretch should feel really good right now. Good. Let's re-bend the right knee, wiggle the right foot over to the left, and find your pigeon. If you want to take it on your back, of course, you know you can always do that as a figure four instead. And just take a breath in. Exhale and fold. Close your eyes here. Just return to sort of a breath that we don't really even think about, right? Just a natural, regular breath. Good. Climb back up, guys. Plant your hands. Find your down dog. Maybe give your right leg a big shake. And then we'll take the left leg up in the air. Stepping through lizard pose. Right knee drops down and fold. And breathe. So we'll climb back up, shift it back into our runner stretch. Butts are back, chest is forward, fingertips tippy toe forward, and just really flex through your left foot. So we'll re bend the left knee and wiggle it over to the right, coming into pigeon. Breathe in here. Breathe out and fold. Good, let's climb back up. Let's swing the legs around so we're sitting on our butt. So if you can, if your knees will allow, place your right leg in a half virasana, and it's really just to um, lengthen your quad out here, give your quad a little bit of strength after all that, you know, we were really engaging a lot. So the quad might feel a little tight. Left leg is straight. Take your arms overhead, breathe in, and then fold. If you are not in a half virasana, you could do a, a jhana shirshasana leg instead. So a sole of the right foot to the inside of the left thigh. That's always a good option instead of virasana. Two more breaths here. So 
and it will come on up. Free your right leg, straighten it out, maybe give your knee a little rub, and then take the left leg in that half virasana. Ooh, my quads are feeling that, I'll tell you. Good. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Let's come on up. Let's take a twist. So right foot over left knee and then left leg bends back. Ardha, Matsi, and Jasana. Our right hand comes behind like a kickstand. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale. Either hook the elbow or wrap the forearm around the front of the knee and twist. We'll inhale, come forward, and just switch the legs. Left over right. Left hand comes behind. Inhale, right arm up. Exhale and twist. It should feel good ringing out the spine. A lot of compression when we do handstands, so. Good, inhale, come forward. Let's do one more forward fold, bringing the soles of the feet together in Baddha Konasana. Sit up nice and tall, breathe in. Exhale and round. So we'll come on up. Extend the legs back, point your toes, reach your arms forward, and we'll slowly roll all the way onto our backs. When you land on your back, hug your knees into your chest. Extend the left leg out, keep hugging the right knee in, take a breath. And as you exhale, uh, right leg straightens, interlace your fingers. So as you're kicking your leg into your hands, see if you can soften your shoulders here. Release the low back. Good. Hug the knee back in. And then let the right leg go long. Inhale and bring the left knee into your chest. Exhale, extend the left leg up. Good. Inhale, draw the knee back in. Good. Let's take a happy baby, reaching for the outer edges of the feet. Let your hips stay low here. Knees draw down towards your arms. And then release and find Shavasana, a very well-deserved Shavasana, I might add. Let your heels maybe separate to the width of your mat. Palms face up. If there's any props near you, just push them away. Close your eyes and rest.
begin to deepen your breath, wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes. Maybe coming back and visualizing that handstand again, right? And then think about all the little steps you took today, right? To one day bring everything together into that visualization. When you're ready, just draw your knees into your chest. We'll roll over to our right side. And when you're ready, we can meet back in a seat, sitting up nice and tall. Just taking a few more moments. Let's take three long, slow, deep breaths together. So just inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope the instruction was helpful. Have a beautiful day. I miss seeing you guys in person. Soon, soon. Namaste. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day, guys.